What are some of the most important things about pickleball that people need to know? What do you see people doing wrong? They want to play the game like you play tennis. And they want to stand and hit the ball hard. Whether or not I'm a pro by the end of this will determine how good of a coach you are. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You see his face? On this show, we explore well-known and little-known places throughout Central Florida that highlight the area's rich history, family fun activities, delicious food, and desirable real estate opportunities that each area has to offer. This is Discover Central Florida. What's up, family? I'm Mike Collier, a licensed real estate advisor and your ambassador to Central Florida Living. Welcome to Discover Central Florida. If you're looking for a home in a booming new neighborhood, a fitness enthusiast with a love for an active lifestyle, or an innovative entrepreneur looking for a growth-oriented community, let me introduce you to Orlando's Packing District. Shaping a forward-looking community for Orlando, once known for its crating and shipping citrus, it now consists of 202 acres of land and 84 of it is planned for development and 105 acres for a regional park which consists of a new YMCA, an urban farm, and 3.2 miles of trails. Since 2018, it's really been expanding and there's something for every generation to enjoy. Explore the amazing food and drink with live music at the all new food hall. Take your dog for a long walk or enjoy the beautiful trails and it's multiple parks and playgrounds for the kids. Now there's so much to say about the packing district, I can hardly pack it all into one episode. So we'll certainly have to come back to the area as it continues to develop. Now with that said, the packing district is a great neighborhood still in the making. The district's plan to encourage community, wellness, and safety is very much alive. Princeton Street and Orange Blossom Trail have been redesigned for more walkable and safer access with newer roads under construction for easy commutes and less traffic. There's on-street parking, six-foot sidewalks, and 10-foot wide separated bicycle lanes. As you can see behind me, the Bricks is a new development that offers luxury two and three bedroom, three-story townhomes with optional rooftop terraces, and square footage ranges from about 1,450 to just over 2,000 square feet with a walkable distance to the YMCA, the Orlando Tennis Center, Publix, and more. These units currently have a starting price of about $490,000. We'll be checking out a property tour later on, so stay tuned. If you're liking this content, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit the like button on this video so you can be notified every time we drop a new episode. Situated on the west side of downtown Orlando, you can see the packing district aims to please every generation by providing a vibrant and inclusive destination for all your needs, whether it's shopping, dining, entertainment, fitness, or leisure activities. You have the proximity to all the theme parks in Orlando, but the more tranquil and spacious comfort of urban living here. Enough talking about it. Let's go discover Central Florida for ourselves. You know, Packing District is a beautiful area, brand new construction all over the place. We've got some high-end condos, but it's also just really known as an active community. So they have a lot of open fields, green, green spaces, uh, but they also have the Orlando Tennis Center. And it's a really nice brand new tennis facility where people can go over. If you play tennis, you can play pickleball. And since pickleball has become the big thing across the country, it's, it's you know, it's catching the country by storm. I decided that I'm gonna go learn how to play pickleball. I've never played before, so we hired a coach. We're gonna go check it out for ourselves and uh, we're gonna get real good. And we're gonna check out the rest of what the packing district has to offer. Let's take a look. Well, Coach Ron, yeah. tell us a little bit about pickleball. Why do you think it's gotten so big among so many people? The ball's lighter, the court's shorter, you don't have as far to hit the ball. Yeah. And so it's easier to learn. It's really a lot of fun. Yeah. And I think that's why um, people are starting to, uh, to play. It, so you don't have to be as, as athletic. As it's athletic. a little bit slower. Yeah. It's yeah. a smaller yeah. court. Uh -huh. And it's not as bad on your joints, right? right? I mean, right. You're, not, yeah. you're not having yeah. to really get yeah. into it. So you got people who play who are great athletes. Some of the pro tennis players play a bigger ball. But then you got like people. Me. Yeah. But then you got people who are 
who who've never played before. <laughs> who never played before, they can come out and pick it up right away and start yeah. playing. Yeah. Within within a day or so, they're able to start to hit the ball back and forth across the net. Yeah. And and, and play a game. Yeah. Well, my mom just picked it up. My uncle just picked it up. <laughs> and they couldn't believe I hadn't started playing yet. So yeah. that's why I'm out here with you. Yeah. So I want to learn your style because you've been playing this for a little while. How long have you been playing? I started playing about it in 2011. Yeah. Now it's just Blossom. It's, I mean, it's booming. Everybody wants to play, you know. What are some of the most important things about pickleball that people need to know? Like, for people who are starting out, what do you see people doing wrong that they should be probably working on a little they bit? They want to play the game like you play tennis. They uh, want to stand back here, and I see, and I'm watching people here in, in this club playing, and they want to stand and hit the ball hard and come in, and they want to volley it. in. People like to play from here, and like to hit the ball, come in, and hit volleys, and hit the ball high, and they hit, the, they keep the ball too hot. Mm. And everybody comes to smash the ball in, and they're realizing that you want to come up there and be able to control the ball, and then look for your shot. So it sounds easy enough. I'm looking forward to it. Whether or not I, I'm a pro by the end of this will determine how well, how, how good of a coach you are. You know, I, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you see his face? He's like, brother, you got a long way to go. Hey, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it, bro. See, see, see? Oh! oh you try to get me. Good job. Me. Yeah, yeah. See, you, you slid over. Yeah. You slid over, hit the ball back, and you were able to get back into the court again. I was able to get back again. over. Yeah. So, so, so trying to turn so all the cross, way around. Cross it over, right. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get these up and then move over to okay. the other court, okay? He's pretty good. <laughs> All right, so we already did a little warm-up session. You yep. saw me doing the little violin. You yep. taught me how to stay out of the kitchen, oh, I see, how, to, yeah. how to control the net a little bit, yes, a little bit, a little bit. But now I'm ready to play. You ready to play? I think I, I think I got it, man. You got this it is, now? Yeah, this is it's, you got that? this is like second nature to me, kind of. You, got you that? know, a little, <laughs> yeah, 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 not pop, not pop, pop, push. Okay. Okay. We pop, we push it, not pop. It. Yes, right. Push, okay. push, <laughs> not pop. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> We're still talking about pickleball, by the way. <laughs> Is this, uh, is this too much? No. <laughs> no. I'm trying to, no, hey. You're, you're this good, the, you're good. This, this is how the pros do it, isn't it? Hey, 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 I'm ready, you're baby. You're ready. Close to you, so we'll get. Ah. <laughs> I'm on that spot, man. I'm learning. We got this, baby. That's it. Oh. 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 Hey. Yeah, there you go. I like when it gets good. Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 good. Good job. You're making me do all the moving. Now it's time for you to move. Okay. All right. All right, Kurt, to run. Hey. hey. Hey man, that, that was, was a good time. That was good. Yeah. I appreciate everything, yeah, man. I, it was a lot of fun. So, so how did I do? I think you did great. I think you did great. I think the only thing yeah. that you're working right now yeah. is that serving. It's okay. just to serve and not flicking the head. But other than that, you played well. I mean, within the, the small amount of time we had, yeah. you were able to play point. Would you say I'm, I'm at the level where I should have Nike give me a call or Adidas, <laughs> maybe? Not Adidas, because that's wrong. What you think? Puma? Yeah. You, you. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, they, a little bit they, more time. They can call you. I don't know if they can call you. <laughs> they might not call me for the right reason. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'll try. But you just put Nike you, if y'all are out there watching. Get, but you, you'll get there. I'm going to get you'll there. You'll get there. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. You want to learn how to play pickleball, or maybe you're already good and you just want to get a little bit of finesse, a little bit of English on that thing, make sure you call the Orlando Tennis Center yeah. and ask for Coach Ron. He'll hook you up. All right. Thanks Thank again. You. Thank you again. Yes, Thank sir. you. All right. <laughs> So now that that's done, it's time to head back to the packing district and grab a bite to eat. Let's go. The Great Southern Box Company Food Hall made its debut on May 24th of 2024, showcasing a wide array of vendors offering what the developers describe as diverse immigrant cuisine. Visitors can enjoy their meals in the indoor seating area or opt for the open lawn, which features plenty of outdoor table seating. This new addition to the packing district features a central bar and a variety of vendors that includes elevated Cuban street food, handmade pizzas, authentic Middle Eastern cuisine, and so much more. And the best part, 
We'll be seeing additional vendors joining the food hall in the upcoming months to bring us more culture and more delicious food. So we are now here at Kebab To Go with Joe. He is the owner of Kebab To Go. This is a, a Lebanese restaurant that's right here in the Great Southern Bok Company. You were telling me some really cool stuff. You go to Lebanon. Yes, sir. Every six months every six to months. get the spices uh -huh. to bring back to this restaurant to make the, the quality, good, authentic Lebanese food. Yes, sir. It's a very hard task to do that every six months. Oh, uh, yeah. But we wanted like just to let the people know about the Lebanese culture, Absolutely. the Lebanese taste. It's delivered from Lebanon, from, from the north and the south. Wow. Look at that, huh? You seem excited. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell? <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> so where should I dive in first? That garlic is... That's good. It's magic. Yeah. You can feel the magic, huh? It's very garlicky. Make okay. sure you don't kiss anyone after that. <laughs> no, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bring a toothbrush after you eat this stuff, but that's really good. Mint lemonade? Uh -huh. Literally, you see the mint. I'm in like foodie heaven right now. Well, thank you so much, Joe. We appreciate it. You're most it. welcome. It's awesome. kebab to go. Kebab to go. All right, so we are here at the Great Southern Box Company with none other than Chef Jason of Stacked Brownies and the Stuffed Pop. So if I wanted to have a stacked brownie, yeah, what am I getting? It has an edge to it. It has a gooey center to it. It's loaded on top with fillings, pure butter, buttercream. So a cookie dough stuffed brownie with cheesecake inside is ridiculous. You got a lemon cheesecake brownie. I have a lemon cheesecake brownie bunt cake, but our brownie choices, 50 choices a day, change daily. And now with the addition of the Stuffed Puff Company, home style yummy foods yeah. stuffed in a puff pastry, Think of an empanada, but 10 times bigger. You're gonna have something special. Well, that's the spirit of a food hall. The spirit of the food hall is variety. So we're going with the lemon cheesecake bunt. This looks divine. Big bite, big bite. This is good. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. I promised you a property tour, so here we are at The Bricks, which is a residential community built by Toll Brothers right here in the Packing District. This community is in fact the only residential community that allows ownership in the Packing District, since the rest of the units in the district will be apartments for rent. This community features three different floor plans. I'll be showcasing two of the three floor plans. First up, the Nova Elite. These corner unit, three bedroom, three and a half bathroom townhomes feature a modern luxury design with an open floor plan with large scale windows that allow plenty of natural sunlight to pour into the home. With just over 2,000 square feet of living space, these units currently start at $695,000. The large gourmet kitchen includes KitchenAid stainless steel appliances, including a gas range, soft closed cabinets with crown molding, and beautiful quartz countertops. Oh, and this model includes the optional rooftop terrace. It's the perfect cherry on top. Wait till you see that. Now we're here inside of the Samson model, which features two bedrooms and two full and two half bathrooms. The Samson is smaller than the other two models, coming in at 1,449 square feet. There's even an option to have a built-in office or an open flex room if you'd like. The Samson starts at $499,000 with some units being available right now. Another thing you'll like about the bricks is that there's a low HOA that averages $200 per month and no CDD. Your HOA includes landscaping, pressure washing for your unit, some paint touch-ups, a dog park, and even a kid's park. The builder is currently offering below market interest rates for well-qualified buyers. If any of these interest you, or if you're looking for something like this, give me a call or shoot me an email and I'll get you more details.
We hope you enjoyed discovering the packing district with us today. If you're moving to Central Florida or considering a move to Central Florida and in need of a trusted real estate advisor to help you find the right home, simply let us know. Also, if you're just curious about what your home might be worth, reach out to us at info at mightcallyourhometeam.com. See you next time as we discover Central Florida together. Hey family, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed shooting it. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel so you can see more content every time we drop it. All right, there's some more videos for you to check out. Until then, we'll see you real soon. Take care and have a magical day.